So just starting on the rear suspension components and had to modify the rear spindles. Um, didn't get too much of that on film because it was it started off quite violently shaking the my entire workbench because I started with a sawzall and it just kept clogging blades. So then I switched to an angle grinder and that seemed to work good. Just a little slow going, but I'll show you what I ended up doing here. So I think I got some footage of this here. So we enlarged these holes here to 5 eighths. There and there. And then there used to be big extra boss here right there that I cut off and then hit it with a flap wheel here to kind of knock off the saw marks and round off the edges so that it's smooth but the line that you draw from is basically so there's another hole right here but based on the drawings and stuff that I've seen and some of the pictures of other people's builds, you take right inside the edge of that hole there and you go to what is a corner right here. It kind of protrudes like a corner right there where my pinky is. And just take a straight line. And what I ended up doing was using masking tape to basically connect the dots, spark here and here, and run the tape and then cut away. And that took a long time. I don't have a giant band saw, so I made do with what I got, which was a sawzall. Which, ain't gonna lie, that was violent. And it was very slow. I tried a more aggressive blade and it just shook the workbench even more. So I said, that's enough of that. And went with the angle grinder. It did clog up the blades on the angle grinder as well. Went with um, just an abrasive blade but I took one of my old blades and kind of used it to dress up the edge every once in a while and that seemed to work good and it, it cut through but moving on rear suspension stuff so what I'm doing is using the side of the vise to support here so I don't damage the bearing surface and then just kind of boiling away there. Rinse and repeat. started on the control arms for the rear. for about 17 
center rod to center over here. Just a rough starting point. And that's That's pretty close. And what I'm doing is I'm using the other one so I can kind of gauge how much thread engagement I have. So you can kind of see it's about 50% on both. Cool. So I'm gonna lock this one down and just make the other one pretty much look just like it.
Okay, so the rear suspension is just about done. Um, and cover what we got going on so far. So, this is torqued. This is torqued on both sides. This is loose. I'm probably going to have to back this off and spray some brake cleaner um, on these jam nuts so that you can lock tight them for final assembly. Um, what I am missing is the misalignment um, bushing that goes on this side over here. So I have the sleeve that goes there, but missing the misalignment guide here that this will fit into that side of the tie rod. And then this can get torqued down. Um, the bottoms still need to be torqued down. They haven't been torqued down. Just kind of waiting for that before I do final torquing. But the whole thing is getting there. Ready to start putting together the rear brake calipers and rotors here. And then we'll be getting that much closer to running brake lines. But that's probably at least it for tonight. Uh, making good progress. This is the ear right here where it gets cut. It's, I mean, it's stuck out probably like that far. I don't know if it was entirely necessary to have to cut it off, but I mean, it cleaned it up. You don't have this big wonking hunk of aluminum hanging out here. Yeah, I think it probably from here to maybe there is what got cut off. Doesn't look like it would have, well, it may have come in contact with this post here. Kind of has, we'll see, but. Cool, cool. Catch you guys next time.